Hello guys, welcome back to Pause, and welcome to another speculation video on the upcoming Planet Coaster DLC. So you might be thinking, what DLC am I referring to? Well, over the past, uh, well, since the game launched, they've generally done a three-monthly uh, DLC kind of uh, schedule. Um, now looking back... Um, from last year, the Spooky Pack DLC was released on the 25th of September 2017. Um, and then we got the Adventure Pack in December, Studios in March, and the Vintage Pack in July. So it makes sense for there to be a brand new DLC coming um, towards the start of October. Uh, now there's been a lot of activity on the Steam database. For anybody who doesn't know what that is, it's basically just a, a database of uh, updates and changes to any Steam listings. So basically, this is where Frontier would upload the development builds um, of the game. So basically where they are testing a new version uh, or a new DLC. Uh, so load of stuff, daily activity has been, uh, been happening on there recently, which does indicate something is coming soon. So what could we expect? Now, obviously, Spooky was last year for October. Like I mentioned, it was released at the end of September, uh, and that included sort of loads of new buildings and a couple of new dark ride um, rides, uh, and also a, a new costume character. So I can't imagine they're going to go down the spooky route again, um, but that doesn't mean there won't be any DLC. So what I want to ask you guys is what do you want to see? What would you like added to the game? Now, bear in mind, normally when this question is asked, a lot of people say they want water parks um, or they want some massive sort of add-on like zoos or something like that. Now, as much as I would love to see that in the game, uh, I really don't see that happening as part of a DLC. Um, for me, I think that would happen as a complete um, sort of like add-on game um, or even a new game like Planet Coaster Zoo or Planet Coaster Water Park or something where it's a standalone thing. I really can't imagine that would be released as a DLC. Now, I could be wrong because they, for ages they did say glass wouldn't happen in the game and we've obviously had that recently. Um, so I could be very wrong, um, but I just don't see it. Uh, now, I, I thought they would do a Jurassic World tie-in for the launch of Jurassic World Evolution. That didn't happen either. So maybe prehistoric and dinosaurs is out of the question, even though that would be an amazing pack. But looking at the things they have done, so Adventure and Spooky are very generic. They can be used in uh, a number of different theme parks. Uh, then we've had the Studios pack, which is very specific, uh, but it inc did include a lot of new stuff, um, which was, again, quite generic in its use, uh, as it was a lot of sort of um, street kind of uh, like roads and uh, uh, and lamp posts and you know the sort of stuff that you can use just generally in any kind of park uh, then obviously the recent one in uh, released in July was the vintage pack which is a very very specific um, style uh, and it, it, yes you can use certain bits here and there but generally the most of that pack um, is, is has one use so personally I hope and think they're gonna go back into um, a specific theme like we've had spooky, we've had um, adventure, we've had vintage we've kind of got sci-fi in the game is the new pack going to be something along those kind of lines where it's a very specific uh, type of uh, theme I don't know, only time will tell and that's like I say is the question for you guys, what would you like to see what do you think it's going to be um I don't know. I mean, personally for me, I would love to see zoos. I would love to see it. I would, I would absolutely love to have a park where I can have a zoo on one side, a theme park on the other side, a boat ride going through some animal exhibits or something like that would be incredible. Um, but just for sheer amount of time it would take to program in the animal AI, I don't see it. I really don't see it happening. I think if we got it, we would get animatronic animals. Um, rather than being free roam so uh, as much as I would love to see a zoo pack I don't think it will happen and the same again I'd love to see a water park um, I work at a water park so I'd love to see one of them to recreate the place I work at but again I don't see it happening anytime soon um, but anyway only time will tell so it's over to you guys what do you want to see um, coming in the brand new 
uh, uh, the, the brand new Planet Coaster DLC that will be hopefully released uh, within the next couple of weeks. Uh, now, obviously, at the moment, there is no official confirmation. Uh, I am basing it purely on the three-monthly uh, cycle that has been um, pretty much a staple since the launch of the game. Um, so ex I am expecting an announcement very imminently, um, hopefully in the next week, uh, maybe a little bit longer, with, a, I assume, a release date of around, I don't know, maybe the 10th of October, something around that sort of time. Maybe a little bit later, but I, I definitely feel we're going to get some kind of update um, within October. So any new information that um, I find, I will let you guys know straight away. Um, but like I say, let's get a conversation going. What do you want to see? Drop it down in the comments below. Um, there's a link in the description to our Discord server. It's a bit quiet in there at the moment. We could do with some new friends. So uh, pop on by if you want to have a chat and we can discuss it in there as well. Um, and if you enjoy this kind of stuff, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We can stay up to date with all of our content and any news that comes out from this uh, brand new DLC. That, fingers crossed, is coming in the next month. So thank you guys ever so much for watching. Uh, stay up to date with all the news here on Pause Games and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers guys. Bye.